All right, guys, and welcome back to Bankside Fishing. Today is a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be showing you my go-to PVA bag rig, um, which is this. If I just come round, try and get it into focus. There we go. Very, very simple uh, pop-up sweet corn rig. So we're going to be showing you how to tie it. So let's get started. Right, components, what we're going to need. This is my sort of bits and gadget box sort of thing. So we're going to need some sweet corn, which is in here. Bait stops, baited needle. Now I use, obviously, because this is a PVA bag rig that I'm tying, I use uh, Camatex Soft. Uh, that just enables it to fold to fold down nicely into the bag so if it was too stiff it would be quite a nightmare so uh, we're also going to need some hooks and a pair of scissors these scissors are absolutely shocking i need to buy some new ones because they just don't cut anything so let's get started we're going to take off roughly i don't know 18 inches so i'll get that cut And to start with, we're just going to tie a simple overhand loop to create the hair. Like so, push that through. Normally I would use a bit of needle for this, because it can be quite fiddly. So before we pull this tight, what we're going to do... Don't pull it tight yet, we're going to take out our chosen bits of sweet corn. I'm just using sweet corn as an example, you can use anything you like. We're going to line them up like so, put them on the table, and we're just going to measure. Because what I prefer, if possible, is to get this the knot that's going to be there after pulling this tight into the bottom piece. Doesn't always work, but usually it does. So pull that tight now you've measured it up, like that, and then we're just going to cut off this tag end, or at least I'm going to try to with these terrible scissors. This is what I have to do to get it firm, oh, still ain't cut it. Normally, what I normally do is I use a bit uh, a pen knife, it's really sharp, but I don't really want to be doing that on video because it's also a little bit dangerous. So, that is our hair. So, up next, we are going to get our bait <coughs> straight onto the baiting needle, like so. And then we're just going to very simply Put that through the hair and pull it on tight. Slide it down, slide it down. Like so. Next, bait stop. I can't bring it too close to the camera, otherwise it goes out of focus, unfortunately. So just put the full thing in there and we'll cut it off once we've got it tight. Otherwise it's too fiddly messing around with a little tiny bait stop on its own. So pop that in there, like that, and then pull down tight on both pieces of sweet corn. Like that. And then just cut off the bait stop, like that. A perfect piece there. So it's fiddling about with just one tiny little bait stop, try to get it in the hair and pull it down tight and it falls out. It's just easy like so. So as you can see, the knot is just about in the bottom piece, which is perfect. That's exactly how I wanted it. So next we're going to grab our chosen hook. Now these are mine for today. I'll try bringing it a bit closer so you can see, get in focus. So these are the Crygen. Uh, these are a size 6, they are also micro barbed, which I accidentally bought them on uh, 
I bought one by accident because I never, never used micro barbed. I never used barbed. Um, I always use barbel. I just don't like the feeling of forcing it out the bottom lip of the fish because I imagine it is quite painful. <laughs> so, <clears throat> what we're going to do before we put that on is we're going to just at the very, very bottom uh, below the knot is we are going to strip back roughly half an inch of braid uh, of coating sorry so we're going to strip back about that much if possible so i'm, I'm going to do that with my teeth because my stripper tool is somewhere else <laughs> now i don't know if you can see that yeah as you can see here I've stripped back the braid and that's just going to create a bit of a hinge section for the sweet corn to be able to stand up easier, to pop up easier if you like. Now we're going to take our hook and we're going to go through the back of the eye. So like we're going to go through that way. As I said before, my scissors are shocking, so I'm just going to try and create a cleaner knot, to, uh, a cleaner cut, sorry, to get it through the eye a lot easier. There we are. So again, through the back of the eye, like so, pull it down. Now, this is where you want to be paying attention, sort of thing, to your when you're tying your own rig, because you want this to be sat right. So, imagine it's laid on the lake bed like that. <clears throat> but imagine it's this way, just for uh, per demonstration purposes. So we want it where that hinge is. I'm going to slide that hinge to roughly the bottom of the hook. So it's going to be, at the minute, it's going to sit like that. So I want it just a little bit lower. And now that's about right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pinch that hair to the top of the shank. And then we're going to go and just start the knotless knot. So we're going to go once, two, three, four, five, and six. Pinch that, grab the hair, slide it to the other side. And then we're going to whip on uh, two below the hair. So we're going to go one, two. Now pop that back over like so, and again pinching like so. And then we're going to go to the tag end and go straight through the back of the eye again. Now depending on what size hook you use, and of course what type of braid you're using, you might find it quite difficult to get this braid through the back of the eye twice. So I'm going to have to do this over here so you're not going to be able to see it. So now we've got that through the eye again for the second time. We're going to just pull that tight. But making sure that where the hair comes out from the knotless knot. It, making sure it doesn't slip to the side. Because that can happen. So now we've pulled that tight. <clears throat> that is what we've got so far. Now this is where you need to decide what how are you going to be using this rig like i said i'm going to be using it in a pva bag sorry it's out of focus so like i said before mine's going to be in a pva bag so i'm going to make mine roughly sort of three to three and a half inches uh, but you can use this rig just as is if you wanted to what i would do is i would make uh make the hook link sort of maybe I don't know, maybe 10 to 12 inches, 8 to 12 inches sort of thing. It's entirely up to you and what works where you're fishing. So, yeah, like I say, I'm going to do mine as a PVA bag. So we're just going to tie a big, 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 big overhand loop. So, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to go through the loop. It's the same as the hair rig, it's the same knot. And we're going to go through that twice this time. 
back so uh, slide the nut up a little bit and just pull that tight cut off the tag end again Now one little tip I will give you, if your uh, scissors are like mine and are just completely rubbish and they leave a bit of a frayed bit like this, get a lighter and just blob it down. But obviously be careful because you don't want to be melting the rig you've just tied. So that is our rig done. Now that is going to sit up off the deck perfectly. And... Like I say, it doesn't have to be a solid bag rig, it doesn't have to be sweet corn, you could use this as a snowman rig. Obviously you'd need the hair a little bit longer for a snowman rig. But that is my very simple and quite often my go-to rig, especially if I'm fishing a new lake. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you've learned something, and I hope you go out and that you catch some nice looking fish. So tight lines guys.